Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we are jumping onto the 1998 Tacoma's camper shell and we're going to be refinishing it. I'm gonna be creating a whole video series where I'm gonna be taking it off, taking all the glass out, retinting the glass, painting the camper shell, doing a little bit of body work on it, and then also hopefully lining the inside. And then we're gonna put it all back together. So I wanted to do this on the third gen Prelude first because it really needs it. But I figured I'm in a new location here. I better start on something a little more forgiving like the camper shell and get a little bit better at doing what I'm doing and then gauge whether or not I can do it, the body work and the paint work on the Prelude here. Uh, that's the plan. We're gonna jump into it together and figure it out. So I'm gonna start on this piece here. Um, they have these seams and I think that's a good place to begin prying. So I'm gonna try to do this without damaging the gasket. So that way if I have to, I can reuse it, but I'm hoping to get new stuff. You know what? This actually has like a long bead maybe that comes out first because that kind of overlaps this. Okay, so that needs to come out first, I believe. Good luck to me putting this all back together. Okay. And then now this should hopefully come out. Okay, that's definitely loose now. I think the plan is going to be to take out all of the glass first. And that way that will make, when I go to take off the actual camper shell, it'll be a lot more lightweight and easy to move around. And then also I need to eventually take out all of the camper stuff. And I think I'm gonna wait until I get the glass out and then I'm just gonna do it that way. I think that'll be the easiest. So that way I'm not fighting myself around trying to get it out of the, with the camper shell on. Uh, also, I think all of my windows are held in just by rubber. There's no screws or bolts except for this lift glass. That'll be a little different. So I'm just gonna have to figure this one out on these side windows first and then move maybe up to this big lift glass piece. And then maybe we can get to taking the camper shell actually off the truck. That's one, that was actually not, not too hard. Sweet. Almost all the glass is out of the Tacoma. It's looking pretty crazy. Imagine running that like on the highway full speed at 60 miles an hour, just wind ripping through your camper shell. It was actually much easier. I feel like because of the style I had with just the rubber gaskets and no bolts, I feel like I actually lucked out. It was very easy getting them removed. Putting them back in, we'll find out if that's as easy, but I'm happy to have made as much progress as I already have. Next, I'm gonna try and tackle this lift glass, which is held on by a bunch of quarter inch screws that go around this frame. So I'm gonna start by taking those out and see where that gets me. stuck on there. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna close this. All right. This whole side is, yeah, is loose now. a matter of getting this side off. Oh, 
there we go. Whoo, still heavy. Yep, definitely still heavy, but now I'm gonna pull it far enough away so I can get the back glass out. Same thing as the side windows, except I had to pull the topper away from the cab a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and pull out the rubbers and get the glass out the backside. This is fun, dude. Oh, man. managed to get the camper shell off and in a at least temporary spot until I can figure out a more permanent solution to actually work on it. So that was uh, that was heavy. Even with all the glass removed, this thing was still, up, I would guess probably 150, no, probably more like 200 pounds uh, with the glass out. So one man job, little difficult, but we got it done. Well, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for episode number one in the series. Got a fair amount done, I would say taking out the camper, taking off the camper shell, and taking the glass out of the camper shell, the moldings, and we didn't get the lift glass. All things considered, I would call that a success. I'm gonna have to spend the next video trying to get off that rear lift glass. That way, all that's left is just the fiberglass camper shell itself, and I can get to sanding and really start making some progress on it. If you guys have any suggestions or maybe some ideas of what color I'm gonna be doing for the camper shell, I might be doing OEM paint match, might be doing something else. Let me know down in the comments if you have a guess and uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, or at least think about subscribing if you're new here. It's cool if you don't, but if you do, welcome to the family. I'll see you next time. Adios.